things you put in your mouth are going to tell you what you're going to be. And you know, our mouths are real dumb. As soon as you bring something up to it, it'll open up. <laughs> Candy bars, ice cream, cocktails and beer, anything you want to put in, soda pop, anything you want to put in there, it's going to, as soon as you bring it close by, it's going to open up involuntarily, you know? So what you put in your mouth is the determining factor on how healthy you're going to be. Youthful, as you get it, my age, 87 years old, or whatever age you have, you're not going to live forever. But while you're alive, you want to be there with vitality and vigor and not be under the surgeon's knife. Whatever you do or whatever you haven't done, whatever notoriety you have had, it doesn't really make anything as far as your vital life. It's what you put in your mouth on a daily basis that's going to determine your lifespan, how long you're going to live, if you're going to be healthy, if you're going to be an invalid, how vital you're going to be. There's only one food on planet Earth that has all the elements of life and growth in it for the human body, and that's the raw plant as it comes out of the ground. And the only part of that raw plant that's usable are the liquids of it. The juices of it. That's my slogan. It's the juice of the fiber that feeds you. And that's what your body tries to do to anything you chew and swallow. But the body basically is very inept. You've all heard that vegetables, the cellulose fiber of plant life is relatively indigestible. Sure, you need it to exercise the gums, help you salivate to stimulate the peristaltic wave of 22 beats a minute to keep the food moving down, down, and finally to the, to the large intestines and colon and small intestines, and finally you evacuate the fibrous walls, the fibrous pulp. You're not doing anything about it. You've got to help it out. You've got to chew every mouthful of food like the, like the, the great uh, dietitians say. Every mouthful of food with vegetation should be chewed a minimum of 60 times. See? Fiber is essential, but only physiologically. Not a single speck of fiber can be utilized by the body. Not a single speck of fiber can penetrate through the intestinal villi, through the portal vein, into your liver, to reach your bloodstream, to feed your hundred trillion cells. If even one speck, the, the, size, the size of, here, even, if even one speck, I know you can't see it from way back there. If even one speck, the size, the size of, of what you have right here on the end of my finger, the transparent little piece sticking up, if even one speck could, could penetrate through that villi, through the portal vein and get into your liver, you'd be dead of a blood clot in a matter of 25 to 30 seconds. And the only fibers known to man are fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, grains, and legumes, beans. Nothing, nothing else is fiber on planet Earth. That's the only fibers that we have. So treat your body well. You care about yourself? Do it. That's where the juicer comes in handy. You can only eat so much. You can only eat a little bit. When you read some of the great books, like the man that taught me, Dr. Norman Walker, that was a good friend of mine. I wouldn't pay much attention to him if he was 50 years old, 55, 60, 70. But he passed away at 106. You've got to pay attention to somebody like that that's practiced what he preaches. Now, I started this when I was finishing up at the University of Southern California, and almost everyone that I've known, all Americans and everybody, are now deceased. Guys that were my age, you know? So it's amazing how people with a good education don't really know about the factors that are 
involved in plant structure. With Jason Vale is telling you right now how to, how to benefit yourself and your family's lifeline by making these foods, which are God's foods, into juice. Nothing like being your own cannery. Everything that you buy in a can or a bottle has to, it's a federal law in our, in our country, in USA, everything in a can or a bottle has to run through a conveyor belt at a cooker a temperature. To kill what? Not the vindels and vitamins, you lose some, yes, but you lose 100% of the most vital part of food, enzymes, the chemical catalyst that speed up and slow down chemical reactions. That's what you have to look for. You have to think about those enzymes. If food has natural enzymes in it, it's alive. It's going to benefit you. It's totality plus. And that's what you have to go for. You see, it's not a mystery. Maybe our educational systems keep it a mystery. In the States, they keep it a mystery. They don't teach people. Oh, yeah, yeah at the University of Southern California where I play football, yeah, you get classes on nutrition, physiology, and kinesiology, and human anatomy, and mammalian anatomy, and you do all that. But they never teach us how to keep from becoming diseased and aging prematurely. I know I'm not forever. I know it's going to come my time. I know we're all going to be leaving this earth in time. But I didn't want to go early. It's warm up here, so I'm gonna, I, hope, I hope you don't mind if I take this jacket off. But, you know, it's something about life. If you really want to know, if you really want to know, you have to make an effort, a concerted effort, to educate yourself. For your family's sake, you find out about these plants and the substances they contain and the nutrients that are locked in the plant. A plant reaches down with its roots and it spreads out. And through osmosis from solar energy and it draws those inorganic compounds out of that dirt and draws it into the plant in the form of juice. Did you know that? Anybody ever tell you that? Plants are the factories of life. I dare say if you took a magic wand and waved it over planet Earth and says, plants, be gone. I include trees. We'd all die like that. Where, pray tell, would you get the oxygen to breathe by? Huh? If every tree, every bush, every shrub, every plant were off the face of planet Earth, you'd be gone. I'd be gone. You couldn't breathe. There'd be no oxygen. Plants are the factories of life. You know, your horses that race out here at the racetrack, oh, those guys that are trainers, they feed them the best, the best hay and barley and grains because they, they, they're those powerful animals are given plant life. You see, locked in the cell of these plants happen through osmosis. The sun, huh, the sun charges planet earth your body is pleading for you to bring natural foods inside and always remember all not some a l l all life on planet earth emanates from the green of the plant the one the only take college